Let's see, there are six sides, each with four puzzles, so we have 24 puzzles to solve. We solved one, so we're 1 24th of the way there. How come they didn't use knobs? We already solved a puzzle on this side. Let's let's do one of each side and go along the left side. Yeah, that's a that's a good that's a good game plan. It's darker over here for some reason. Nice ripple effect. I got a bad feeling about that puzzle. That's kind of cute. Maybe. Charming in simplicity looks almost like a compass. Uh, let's go for the simplest one. Simplest looking one. smaller, much better puzzle to room ratio than the last one. And it's laid out right in front of us instead of stuck in the corner. Okay. A course of many steps is never straight or without distraction. But all petitioners to each house must find a path to Utsava. Always measure your route most carefully, and always plan your course of action. Okay, how do I move? What do I do? I think I have to get to the bottom right corner, but... Do I click here? Do I click here? Okay. That worked? How did it work? That doesn't work? That doesn't work? And, oh, I see, um, the number of notches, uh, triangles on the square tells you how many units you have to move. Not all moves are undoable, so we have to be careful. Like, for example, right here, if I move down here, I cannot go back to that three. It would appear our goal is to make it to the lower right corner with those three compasses. So, I want to move towards that compass, but it doesn't look like I can get there. That would just put me in a loop, so I'll go in this direction first. And then I'll go, and then I'll go, and then I'll go, and then I'll go, oh, bugger. Um, he's not saying there's no more moves we can take, but there's no more moves we can take, so. We got stuck on that four. There simply wasn't a square in four blocks from any direction, hence we had to restart. So, there are death squares in this puzzle. And due to the unidirectional nature of it, by that I mean you can't always undo your move, there may be sections of this puzzle that act like event horizons for black holes. Once we enter a square, we may become stuck in a subset of the puzzle that will force us to have to restart. Here, I have represented the puzzle using dunny numerals instead of the count the triangles method for ease of readability. But I'm pretty sure I just confused you. Also, I think this is the wrong game. Instead, I'll use Arabic numerals since I'm not that mean of a person. This is the furthest mathematically that I'm going to represent this puzzle. Technically, I can go all the way to making it a directed graph, but that just seems like overkill to me. We're humans, not computers. This should be sufficient. The main issue when trying to solve the puzzle at the puzzle is the lack of undoability. If I'm here at this three and I move down here to this two, move three spaces, I can't go back to this three. So if I encounter something that's a problem, 
I'm somewhere else, I can't retrace my steps easily. I can do that here. But there's one other thing that I can do, come to think of it. If I start here at the beginning, the start, I am going to be able to have two possibilities to move, either to here or to here. And then from here, I can move either here, here, or there, here, I can move here and here. That's already getting to a huge branch of possibilities, and I don't want to have to deal with that. The less choice is the better. The easier it is to reach a solution if you're guided along a certain path. You may have heard it mentioned to start mazes at the end. This can be considered a maze in a sense. And that wisdom imparts two things in my opinion. One causes you to look at the puzzle in a different way. If you've messed up so many times from the start, thinking backwards can sometimes give you a new perspective. But in our case, it also makes it a lot easier because there's less choices here. This is the end. How many things can get to the end? This two can't, it goes too far. This three can't, it goes too far. This two goes too short. This two goes too short. And this four almost makes it, but it doesn't. So, we have to go in this direction. There has to be some way to get to it, otherwise the puzzle is unsolvable. So, this three can't get to it, this three can't get to it, this three can. We can change the goal of the puzzle now. We know, without a doubt, that the only way to reach this is through this three. So now we don't have to think about getting here. We can just think about getting here because we know that's the only way to get to here. But how do we get to three? Let's see. No, 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 too short. One, two, three, no, too short, two, no. The only way to get here is through this two over here. We've changed the puzzle yet again. Now we only have to think about getting to this two, and then we know if we get here, we can get here. How far can we go before we have to start making choices? Well, there's no way, let's see, this two is too far, this three is too far, this four is too far, this two is too short, so we have to go back this way. Remember, this, there's, there's no symmetry to this move. We may have gotten to this three from this two, but we can get to this two from this three over here. So I'm gonna draw another arrow slightly higher to this three. Let's keep going. This three over here, how do we get to it? Well, from the two, but that's where we already came from. Nothing over here, so it has to be someplace here. One, two, three. This three over here. This is working out fine. This three is smack in the middle of the map. We're probably more likely to hit here than we are to hit to hit here if we're just thinking, okay, I gotta get to the corner. No, just think you gotta get to this three. Can we go even further? Sure, why not? Let's see. Too short, too far, too far, also too far. Too far, too far. Here we go. Once again, there's only one choice. All right, how do we get to this two? Well, too far, too far, too short. Just right, this four over here actually will help us. Now remember, this four over here was the one that I accidentally got stuck in. But this four would actually give us the right answer, so we can go to two from this four. But, We've encountered our first choice. We can get to the two from here as well. I'm gonna switch colors. Now we have to make a choice. What do we choose? Whatever you want. If we keep going backwards, eventually we'll find a way to the start or we'll find a loop or we'll find a dead end. Holistically speaking, I kind of want to go here because this four is closer to the start. 
But I know that when people design puzzles, they try to make the least obvious solution, so maybe going here will work. In the end, I'm going to make the executive decision, well, because I'm solving the puzzle and nobody else can make that decision, that I want to go here. I'm going to start, I'm actually going to make this in white as well to represent that this was the first choice, and then go from there. How do we get to this four? Okay, there's two overshoots, there's three overshoots, that four is not happening. Um, two overshoots, three overshoots, four overshoots, two undershoots, three. Okay, so this two is the only way to reach this four. I made a small mistake here. I said there was only one possibility, the two that goes to the four. But there's a three right under it that I missed because I had it crossed out with a red cray crayon. Crayon? No. Chalk. What am I talking about? Yeah. Oops. But it's not really relevant anyway because in the end we still find a solution path and even if I had noticed it in the initial attempt, I probably would have still chose the two simply because it is closer to the start than the three is, and it seems more likely I'll be able to get to a solution from that anyway. So how do we reach this two? Overshoots, overshoots, undershoots. One, two, three, no, doesn't make it. Uh, the only way we can get it is from this three over here. So we're just gonna keep going backwards and backwards until we make it. How do we get to this three? See, overshoots, overshoots, undershoots. Alright, yet again, only one choice we can make. So all the way back here was the only decision that we ever had to make a decision. That didn't come out right. But since then we've been kind of constrained and guided to a specific path. As we get closer to the start, we're probably going to introduce more choices, but at least we've got the bulk of our path ready. All we have to do is find a way to hit this three. All right, how do I hit this three? This, okay. No, no. Well, this two can make it. And the oversh that overshoots, that overshoots, that undershoots. But we can go backwards. This two down here will make it. It's starting to get a little bit messy because arrows are overlapping each other. What can hit this too? Um, actually, this is where we bring in our holistics. We know this three can make it, but we also know this three can make it. This three up here. And I'm going to actually draw this in another color. Oh dear, now we're getting really messy. We can get to this two from this three, and I chose this three because we already played with the puzzle. We made it here. How do we get here? We went to this three here, and then we jumped over here. Then I went down here, and then I went into the four, and then got stuck. So I was actually on a good solution path if I wasn't an idiot. All we have to do is follow the path that we've just created and we'll get to the goal. Now could this, this path over here that I never explored, could it have made it to the goal? Probably. Maybe it could have done it shorter. I don't know. I don't care. I'm not trying to find the shortest path. I'm trying to beat the freaking puzzle. Alright, we have our solution. Now we just have to implement it. Remember, we solved it going backwards, so our first move is actually our last move we checked. And I'm a maverick, so I'm going to go down instead of right. It still brings me to the same two. I'm doing this just to show that you can have multiple solutions to this puzzle. And I'm sure there's plenty of others if we take another choices. This is where the arrows got a little bit messy and we went back and forth. This might also be another way of holistically messing someone up. You don't think to go back and forth the same direction, like up and down the same way, but with a puzzle like this, it's unidirectional, such a path can take you into a new place. Okay, we're almost done. 
Now these two threes down here are accessible from the top very quickly. So that's like a fake little answer. You think you go there and then you get stuck in those threes, but you actually have to take this whole long roundabout route to hit the other three on the bottom, which then takes you here and then it takes away the compass. Thank you for taking the compass. I kind of wanted to steal everything from this room. This room is pretty. I could, like, throw up a bed and go to sleep in here. It's all cozy. Alright, we know how this works. Take the jewel, bring it to the altar. Stick it in the middle of the well. What well, the middle of the middle of the wall well. The wall well. I will now call it that from now on. Hurry up. The tasks resolved so far marked here are two.